Right, you guys and dolls, I thought I'd give you a little surprise today and take you on a trip with me. A little trek down through my enchanted forest. Right guys, as I was saying, I'm going to take you on a trip today. A little walk. Walk along with me. I'm going to my enchanted forest as I said there. <laughs> now, I just checked the batteries there, they went out, so for some unknown reason. But the batteries is okay just now anyway. I've got two cameras with me today anyway. Just for that reason. Now, this is a forest, you've probably seen in a few of my videos and it's one where I film and photograph a lot of wildlife <laughs> but it's so near to my home that I'd be off my head not to, to come out look at this that's normally a place where I see a lot of deer in fact one of my vlogs you'll see me filming a deer in there yeah I think it was Ellen or some other than this that used to be a, another bit of the forest, but they've cut all the trees down. As like many other areas, there's a lot of landowners plant trees. It's their business, you see. They plant trees to cut. We need trees to make furniture and whatever, blah, blah, blah. So they have their business uh, planting these woods. A long investment, a long term investment though, because sometimes 10, 15, 25 years, maybe longer and then they can cut it and reap the rewards <laughs> so in order to do that though you'd have to have a few places, a few forests anyway we got a wee bit of information by with as you can see it's still wet from those monsoons even though we've had a heat wave the past couple of days which is most welcome Anyway, this is us just at the start of the forest. So take in the views, guys. I'll turn you around so that you're like where you're walking into it. There you are. Look at these old dikes. Now, this was an old Roman track way, way long ago. And it was an old uh, stagecoach track as well. But now it's used by walkers only now and cyclists uh, and anybody else that wants to use it but it's not a motorised road as you can see a couple of guys didn't there now I'm going to come back up and go that way because that's my favourite track but I want to show you something that's down this track and it relates to one of the books one of the authors of uh, the books that uh, I just bought the other day, I'll show you in this vlog as well may as well tell you who it is, it's uh, Robert Louis Stevenson but down here is one of his caves that he used to go into well, the cave that he went into and it's, uh, it's said that he took the idea from this cave uh, for Ben Gunn's cave in Treasure Island so there's a little bit for you to look forward to anyway I've got to watch what I'm doing here look a lot of the walls broken away but look at the skies it's like an enchanted forest and seeing the spring when the bluebells are out it's even more lovely but you can imagine the Roman soldiers coming up that hill there clanking away with their shields and their swords and their carriages and the horses neighing this is the kind of things that I think of. But look at that. Look how, look how deep that goes in. It goes down, guys, that track. Isn't that lovely? This is our water as well. The water's still running off the fields and the hills. So, anyway, a little bit. Turn you around so I can talk. A little bit about what I'm going to be up to the next couple of weeks well as you know I've done a lot of paintings I've done a lot of treasure hunting to get stock in so I'm going to 
my next thing to do, and I've done sculpturing, as you've just seen. So my next venture is going to be wood carving, wood cutting, whatever, making wooden figures. But I've got a wooden lathe that I can turn the uh, wooden bowls. So I'm going to buy some uh, proper wood in from eBay, some lime wood or something like that, or some more exotic wood, and start turning some homemade bowls. Homemade bowls sell great on eBay, so that's what I was thinking. Once I've got a bit of time, that is like, but that's going to be my next project. Very exciting. I hear voices down there, so there's people down in that bridge. We're coming to a bridge. Come on, bridge. <laughs> Better watch my feet. Hello there. It's wet all the way up there. Oh, it is, isn't it? You've got to watch the feet while they drop. Guys are always up there, look. I've passed quite a couple of guys uh, recently. Sorry, guys, that's how I was holding the camera we did there. I don't like uh, pointing that in people's faces. Look at this. This is a lovely bridge. The salmon and the trout got that. <laughs> I used to patrol that with the boys way back. You see there's a couple of slats missing. A bit dangerous that, uh, that should be repaired. But when that's in spate, you should see there's uh, a lot of wildlife, salmon and whatever goes up that. It's well watched, you know what I mean? For any poachers of that, thinking about doing anything. <laughs> Plus I go about, I'm still got the bailiff in mind. Lovely, eh? Anyway, we're not that far from the cave now. Wait again. Guys, a wee bit of tip for you. You probably already know this, but I already know it and I've done a lot of mistakes. You've got to watch your feet. You've got to have good boots on. I've already... Uh, Broken an ankle one time many many years back when I was out uh, patrolling the rivers for uh, would be poachers and whatever. So <laughs> I broke my ankle one one uh, one time. I just went over that. It was just easy. I just tipped over a wee stick or a rock or whatever. Uh, it's easy done. So the tip is to keep your eye on the ground at all times when you're out. If you look at guys who are regular, they've got their heads down and watching their feet. This is new. This is a new fence. That's a deer fence. I don't know why they put a deer fence there. But that's a new fence there. That never used to be there. Unless they've maybe got horses or that in there. Uh, I was going to go metal detecting in there at one time too. Going to get permission first though, you know what I mean? But eh... Uh, <laughs> What was I saying there? Aye. You've got to watch your, uh, your feet. Have good sturdy boots on. That's the one good practice. Stops you from going over on your ankle. Now, I'll take you down there another time. That's where it goes to the riverside, but I want to take you up to the, the Stevenson's cave. Look. That fence would have cost a pretty penny. The only thing I can think is that they're going to put horses in, inside there and keep the deer out. Fences maybe to keep the deer out, not keep, keep them in. <laughs> There's a river there. You can just see it through the trees. I hope you can still hear me through this wind. I never broke my microphone muffler. Never mind. If I have to, I'll, look, I'll show you the river through here. Isn't that picturesque? Lovely, eh? There'll be fish running that, wouldn't there? A lot of fish. 
I'll keep you on this side because there's somebody coming up the path. I don't want to point the camera in their face, so I'll let you view the river. Hi there. Lovely day. Eh? <laughs> Yeah, there's quite a few few people out today. There you go. The cave's just up here, guys. And uh, Raymond, my brother, will be surprised because they've done a few bits and pieces to this. We filmed this. Uh, we filmed a piece for a film called uh, Fourth, it was called. And we filmed the. Uh, there's other guys coming, guys. <laughs> Hi there. It's mostly downhill from now. Yeah, it's a lovely day. Beautiful. Look too cold. Yeah. Not too hot. Hi there. Hi. Thank you. Lovely day. Yeah. Indeed. Thank you. Look at this, guys. This is where it opens right up. Me and my friend Jack filmed a piece over there as well. Uh, that's the chain link pool it's called. There's a big chain link on there. I think it dates back to the Roman times as well. But you can see, lovely. Right, the cave's up here. And that, uh, the, that, that must be. <laughs> You know what I'm like, I can't get my words out. I hope you're enjoying this wee trip, guys. But you can see how it's such a beautiful place I live in. I wouldn't swap it for the world. A lot of beautiful places in the world, like, but I like this. This is my home beauty. See, that fence goes right along here. And it goes all the way up and surrounds. So I take it they're going to be putting horses in there. Right, Raymond? You'd be surprised here <laughs> because they've actually recognised this as Treasure Island cave from Robert Lee Stevenson. They've put different bits and pieces on it and I'll show you what I mean. Remember we put a lamp there on that post. But look at this. I've got a seat here with a Treasure Island theme. They've got a treasure chest, spade to dick up the treasure. <laughs> they've got a skull and crossbows here. And they've got a parrot for Long John Silver. And there's a treasure map. Me and Raymond done a lot of articles for the local newspapers. There's the actual cave, look at that guys. Me and Raymond done a lot of articles for the newspapers to highlight this. So I'm just hoping that the newspapers pick, picked up and, and told somebody about it and this is the result. Look at the hook, Captain Hook. Nice, eh? Look at this, guys. This is a cave. I'll take you right in. I haven't got a lamp today, but if I can find that scene, if I can find that scene from Treasure Island that me and Raymond done, to the fourth floor. Look at this. Look at the walls, wet walls, the rocks. Yeah, if I can find, if I can find that wee clip, I'll try and insert it there. You want to keep your head down, you bump your head. It's nice to be back here. Lovely, eh? Look at that. Dark. <laughs> I think it was an old copper mine at one time here. There's a lot of copper mines all around here. But I thought I'd bring you, this, you down here to, to show you. Now we'll head back up. We'll go, we'll go that way one day. But today I'm going up this way. I want to go up and go through my favourite side of the forest. Uh, it gives me a good walk as well for uh, 
I'm losing weight, that's why one of the reasons I'm out as well. I thought I'd bring you along here. I'll switch the camera off just now till we get back up there. Since you've seen all that, that, that route. Somebody's had a barbecue here. They should take the rubbish away with them though. Hi guys. This is another favourite spot for me. On the road up to the forest. It's on the edge of the forest. Nice, eh? 